Hey guys, I'm Mr. Freddy here, and today is going to be a new LEGO set review, and this time it's a LEGO Star Wars set, which is called Boat Fetz's Starship Microfighter, aka Slave 1 Microfighter, because I think that's a better name for this set, which, set number is 75344, it's for ages 6 and up, and it has A5 pieces. First is the box. For the box, uh, here's the, the the front of it, which showcases the, the Slave 1 Microfighter, and here's the bottom, and here's the side. And here's the other side, and here's the top, which showcases the actual size of the minifigure, and in the back, which showcases the Flickmar missile play feature, and the the cockpit, the cockpit of the Slave 1 open up, and a little showcase on the Boba Fett minifigure, so yeah. And for the instruction manual, which has a total of 50 pages to build, and there's an ad for the other like a Star Wars sets from for 2023, which I already have the the Final First Clone Troopers Battle Pack, which I already reviewed the set and I don't feel like getting this set. And there's the ad for the other Book of Boba Fett uh, sets, which the, the Razor Crest Micro Fighter, which I already reviewed last year's, kind of count as the Book of Boba Fett set. And so as this, so as the this set and. This is like Boba Fett's uh, palace, which is actually part of that wave, so yeah. And here's the ad for the re Rebuild the World, and here's the window, which is kind of, yeah, since, since you know, this is, the manual wasn't as colorful as the box, just like the Final First Clone Troopers Battle Pack, so yeah. So, onto the minifigure that was included for this set. So the minifigure that was included in the set is the man himself, Boba Fett. And he looks pretty nice. This is like the recent version of him before the the new mech set that included him. And he looks he looks precisely detailed, you know, for a for a figure, you know, which has he has arm printing right here and here and the front torso printing, which it's mostly like darkish green right there. And and also lower printing is kinda of a little bit almost I think it almost looks gunmetal color right here on the on the legs and let me showcase the back. Hang on. Showcase the back. Here's the back, which is also dark green and there's a little browns there and also jetpack piece, which I think is the same one from the as the as Mando's uh, jetpack, but this one's like the lightest greens and. While, while the while the the printing is actually darker green, so kind of better if it's actually dark green too. And as all well, here's uh, Boba Fett's uh, face, and and there's all background printing on him. And here's the helmet, which is strangely like green, which should be, should be better if it's actually a little bit more darker green. Which it could it could make this minifigure a lot more perfect if it's if they actually color all color the helmet and the jetpack all dark green. So yeah. Also, the accessory is this. This is a this blaster, which has the little telescope piece, or or is it, I think I think or the lightsaber piece. You know, it looks. I think you know some people call it the telescope, but it's actually the lightsaber pelt. So, yeah, and he has that in like conquest uh weapon piece. So yeah, so that's Boba Fett, and almost a near perfect figure for this cheap set. So yeah, so onto the the slave one microfighter itself, or Bubble Fetz's Starship. But I still gotta call it the Slave One Microfighter, so I don't care what, what Disney says about Bubble Fetz's ship being called just Starship or something else. I'm just gonna call it Slave One as always, so enough talk, let's just move on to the the Microfighter itself. Okay, here's the Microfighter and it looks really good, you know. Um I think I like this more than the, the Razor Crest uh Microfighter from Last year, you know, because it has like like almost a mixture, good amount of colors, you know, like the the grays, the dark grays, and some pieces, the the dark greens on here and here and here, and some a lot of a lot of dark red colors, you know, and and here's the back of it, which I think there's something missing, you know, since there's like little two of uh, ragged, you know, strands of orange pieces, which they're showing like like. The metal piece, like on the top, I guess, or on the bottom, to make it look 
you know, just like in the, some of the, the, like, the play set, scale, uh, play one set, so, yeah, that's all. Now, so you can, like, with the wings, I'll just lay one, like, this, or this for the landing, or this for, like, for flight mode, so, yeah, and that's all the, the, these two little fans, you know, which are flick fire muscles, which, which is a combination of the two, two of these lightsaber uh, hilts and these, uh, these new pieces that were made recently for, you know, for Lego, so, yeah, and, yeah, which, here's a play feature, yeah, so, let me put them back on, yeah, and that's all, there's like a little seat when you just move the co cockpit down, and let me put, let me put Bubble, bubble Fat here, so, you can like, yeah, sometimes it's kind of difficult to try to fit them in, you know, which, which yeah, I think there's like other precision that makes it a little bit difficult to to position there and put the legs down to make it look like he's completely seated, seated. So yeah, so yeah, so here's the 360 uh, 63 look of the slave one, you know, and. It looks pretty awkward to see like Boba Fett has the gun that's coming out of the kind of the vehicle. You know, he's holding that gun or holding the gun while riding it, which is kind of outside of it, which there should be like like something something that could like clip on the his uh blaster somewhere in this in the microfight on his slave one microfighter, so yeah. So um now to the my final thoughts on this set. Overall, it's a it's a surprisingly great microfighter set, and then I think I like this more than the the Razor Crest microfighter, which you know it's a it's a pretty good set, but but this this is actually pretty much better, you know, in my opinion. Come on, since the Slave One is pretty much an iconic Star Wars uh, vehicle, and they kind of did it perfectly in this microfighter scale, since you know since most Slave One sets are pretty much always nearly perfect, you know. But this is kind of a whole different level of perfection, so yeah. <clears throat> and also the minifigure, and also the the light green pieces on Boba Fett's helmet and jetpack should and just better, you know, if it's actually just like a darker color. But <clears throat> yeah, this set, I really like it, so I'm going to rank this set a 9.0 out of 10, you know. A really great micro set is micro fighter set, and that costs pretty much in a really Cheap price, you know, which is ten dollars. While the battle pack that came out recently for the winter wave of the winter twenty twenty three wave of, of Lego Star Wars is like ten dollars more. But come on, if you're just like a little bit low on money, just get the set. But if you have like, if you just feel like I uh, wanted to get some uh, more of your file first army, just get that battle pack set. If you get that file first legion set, so yeah. So anywho, uh. I just hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, my new LEGO set review, and, uh, like and comment this video, and subscribe for more content, so, this is Mr. Freddy here, and I'm blasting off to get out of here, <laughs> kind of mouthful to say, so, bye.